Hey guys, what's up? By Cyclotron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the war recap video of the most recent arranged war. And first of all, I apologize that I haven't had the daily uploads like usual. Just been a little bit busy lately. Uh, but you can definitely follow me on Twitter. Links in the description. Because a lot of times I'll tweet out if I'm not able to get a video out for that day. Um, so yeah, links in the description for Twitter. As well as Camcord. Uh, if you want to follow me there for my occasional streaming I do on Camcord. Uh, but anyway... Let's go ahead and take a look at this war um, that happened this weekend against Team ONT Elite. And it was close. The difference was that one Town Hall 10 you see right there, Pendragon, was only one starred. And then our Town Hall 9s and 8s were two star or were three starred. Uh, sorry. Um, and then the difference was we got all their Town Hall 10s two starred. And everything below was three starred, obviously. Um, but not able to get any Town Hall 10 three stars. We were a little bit short on Town Hall 9 attacks to scout the bases up there, and I'll go into more detail on that uh, a little bit later on. Uh, but regardless, we got you know the standard two stars in the tens, three stars in the nines, and that was enough this war. But it was really close and a great job to both sides. Um, this one actually was almost a three star. Uh, it could have easily gone for three had it worked out a little bit differently. Uh, I see this base a lot, this Town Hall 10 slash 11 compact kind of uh, forum base, I guess you could call it. Um, it's an okay base, but it is susceptible to getting just destroyed if the attacker does it right, but it can defend against some two stars a lot of the time. But anyway, uh, we're looking at Erotic, aka Plow, taking on um, this base and coming in with the Queen Walk, just clearing out all this trash, getting a lot of percentage here. This is a two star attack, obviously, has kind of a go wipe queued up, but um, you'll see here it actually ends up getting pretty close to three stars. Uh, so maybe a few adjustments could have got the 3-star, maybe not, but it was a great attack either way. And even if they had gotten that one extra star, we definitely had them on percentage because we just got extremely high percentage 2-stars this war. So great job to all the 10s who were involved in getting those 2-stars. Um, it was awesome. We really made it so that they would have to beat us by a star if they were going to win. Uh, so yeah, great job. But anyway, coming in here uh, with the Golems, the P.E.K.K.A.s, dropping down Rages to keep everything moving quickly. Here comes the Lava Hound from the CC. It's not going to be that big of a deal. Uh, has a freeze for that single Inferno because it got on the King. So the Inferno's frozen. Goes ahead and pops the King's ability. He's doing work in the core. Then these Golems get on that single Inferno and take it out pretty quickly. Um, so single Inferno goes down in just a moment. The P.E.K.K.A.'s on it too, I think. Um, so boom, it's down. There was some Hogs coming through at the bottom here taking out defenses. This was just a clear percentage, but they actually got a lot of defenses taken out. Took out maybe uh, two or th maybe three defenses. And these golems are still at full health for the most part because those healers somehow didn't die. Um, I guess there weren't any air defenses in the area. Uh, right there, the last healer does go down, but they were able to get like those uh, two golems back to full health and even keep that third one up. So there's still a lot of tanking out in front for the queen. Has some wizards at the bottom here getting clean up. He's taking out these uh, trash buildings for more percentage. Uh, but at the top here, you can see there's not that many defenses left and still has two golems that are at pretty high health. That, that golem up top is about full health, and then a few golemites, so it has a lot of taking out in front. But right here, uh, the queen takes out a few more buildings, and then she kind of wraps around. Had she beat through the wall with the golems, might have had a chance at a 3-star, maybe not. Uh, but kind of takes away the opportunity by going off like that. The cannon gets on her, and she goes down. Uh, so ends up being a high percentage 2-star, but awesome job. Um, 80, I think it was like 86%. That's insane to get two stars number one uh, with that kind of percentage. So awesome job to Plow getting the uh, two star here. All right, as that golem beats through that wall, we'll go ahead and keep moving on. Um, that's it for Town Hall 10s because there weren't any three stars. But I do have some Town Hall 8s in this video. Um, so that'll be something fun. Usually I don't see that many 8s. But I'm going to be sure to show a number of attacks from Town Hall 8s. Uh, but let's look at a few Town Hall 9s first. Um, we're taking a look at Rigo taking on 5 and doing it with a nice drag uh, AQ walk strategy that I put out a um, attack strategy video on <coughs> that's very effective at Town Hall 9. So I uh, dropped down a minion which kind of went down so no big deal. Uh, that army camp's not that big of an issue for the funnel. Then the wizard at the bottom here to create the funnel on the bottom side. Queen making her way in, taking out Teslas. It's always nice for the queen to take out Teslas because... Um, just more value in the the Teslas aren't that big of a threat to your queen walk because they have such small range that by the time they're on the queen the queen's usually going to be on them 
So right here, she steps out. The Tesla gets on her, but she takes it out in, in a matter of seconds. So no real threat from the Tesla from the Queen Walk for the most part. Uh, great value here for this Queen because uh, she's gained these defenses, which are a lot bigger threat to dragons than they are to her. Uh, so that as soon as that DE storage goes down, she'll step up and get on that Expo, take it out, and continue on her walk. Uh, he has a jump spell to let her keep moving and get to those next two air defenses. That first one she can reach, but the second one is a little too far, so has to use the jump. Uh, right here, though, the CC troops come out. Good po good uh, placement on the poison. The P.E.K.K.A. is going to be standing in it for a while. Um, I think it might get out of it right here, so maybe could have dropped a little bit higher. But anyway, the level 30 queen with the ability can uh, burn through the P.E.K.K.A. pretty quickly. Here comes the jump. Everything's funneled perfectly. The queen's just going to take it. Because uh, a lot of times it's hard to use a jump on your queen because the AI is so complicated. But right here, the only place for her to go was to take that jump and get on that next air defense, which goes down. And then he has the rage to keep her up with, uh, from all this point defense as she continues to take out defenses. Dragons coming in at the bottom here. Uh, just nice little uh, deployment to get them all kind of in a, in a little pack. And then drops the poison to help slow down the queen. Uh, they'll take her out in just a few seconds. And then has the king just to clear out some trash buildings. Keep the dragons uh, where he wants them to go. Nice little funnel created by the queen up top and the king at the bottom. So the dragons have a nice runway to move through the base. And get to that last air defense which is still up. But um, you'll see right here he has a plan for that too. In comes a Lava Hound and four Balloons. Basically, just going to come in here, take out these defenses, and everything's going to meet up on top of that air defense. So right here, um, that air defense will get on the Lava Hound, drops another Rage for the Dragons, and everything's going to move forward and take out that last air defense. A uh, ton of troops left up still. All those Balloons, the Dragons, the Lava Hound, I think doesn't even bust right here, so Lava Hound stays up. Right there, the Queen just went down uh, to those two cannons, but... Like I said, so many troops left up, it's just a matter of time, because uh, nothing can even target air troops anymore. So fast forward as he gets the three-star, awesome job, Dorigo. Fun attack to watch. Uh, keep it up. All right, um, we are going to take a look at number 13. Have a nice long recap for you guys, a lot of attacks. Um, Nano John, and uh, like I've been saying, just kind of the same stuff from him for the most part, but it works. It's great to see... Um, like I said, another Queen Walk Hog attack. Coming in here with the Wizard to create that funnel. In comes the Queen just to take out these defenses and uh, just go on a little walk here. He's going to enter the base with her right here. So drops down minions on the right side to create the funnel there. And he'll drop a few wall breakers in, in just a moment. Waiting for that Wizard Tower to go down so the splash damage uh, doesn't hurt her too much. Uh, it, there goes the Rage and very efficient there. One wall breaker under Rage is able to take out that wall. I don't think he necessarily needed the Rage for the Queen, but went ahead and dropped it anyway. Not that big of a deal, um, because it does wear off before she engages the heroes. So, yeah, I don't know. It, it was alright here. Minions take out that cannon, which is great. Uh, she's going to step up right here, take out the CC troops, has a poison. All those archers are going to go down real quick in that poison. Um, they're only in it for a few seconds, and then they're dead. So, uh, worked out nicely there. Comes in with a golem on the bottom and a few wizards just creating the funnel. Um, I think he'll wall break her in there in just a moment and then use the jump to connect everything. Another golem, uh, more wizards, just nice wide deployment and oh yeah, this is what I liked about this attack. He drops the golem, lets that compartment get cleared out by the wizards and then the golem kind of walks over to the next compartment. So a little bit of a mini golem walk, always fun to watch. Um, I love when people play with the troop pathing like that and get it to really work in their favor because the golem kind of did its own little walk with the wizards behind it because when you clear out all the buildings in a compartment uh, the golem's going to reroute to a compartment nearby and uh, it worked out nicely here it met up with the kill squad pops the queen's ability she's getting on those defensive heroes uh, could have used that poison on the queen but doesn't need it the ability was enough there's that tesla farm uh, the golem the king the wizards all making their way through uh, the tesla farm's not going to be an issue for them they'll get it taken out and still has 16 hogs i mean this base is pretty much already destroyed and still has 16 hogs so comes in heavy here to back up his kill squad while everything's being tanked and uh, Queen's beating through the wall up top to get those last few defenses nice heal there double giant bomb has been triggered by the golem so very great very nice timing on that and everything's moving forward with that jump spell last few hogs coming in uh, so many hogs still left up doesn't even need that last heal uh, so has a swag heal and a swag poison and just about every one of his hogs is still left up. So 
Absolutely crush the space. Awesome attack to Nano John. All right. Now, this next one I'm going to show is the reason we probably didn't have as many Town Hall uh, 9 scouts on the Town Hall 10s. Because once all the 9s are cleared, obviously, the 9s uh, scout openers for the 10s, like you saw in some of my live attacks. But we're taking a look at one of my attacks, and this base, I'll pause it for a second. Um, this base took 9 attacks to 3 star. 8 attackers before me uh, did not get the 3 star. Um, so. It was kind of crazy. I mean, it's a terrible base, to be honest. The The double giant bomb set is right next to the queen. The queen is super exposed. The CC is easily lurable. Um, it, it, it's not that good of a base. I think just something of the... I think someone said this, just the mentality... Oh, it was at times too. The mentality of knowing this base has eaten up so many attacks when you're attacking it can kind of throw you off. And every attack just had one thing go wrong that cost it. So just kind of unlucky, just kind of karma, I don't know. Some combination of that. But anyway, you can see right there there's a single bomb which is pretty accessible. Just right behind that first defense there. And then the double set of bombs is between the expo and the mortar. Right next to the queen. So I came in here basically copying one of the other attackers. Except they never got the queen taken out because the kill squad there went off to the left to take out the enemy king. So I wanted to make sure my king took out the queen. I uh, had a bit of a wall breaker fail on the right because the wall breakers went down to the splash damage. But the king beats through the wall and the queen was actually taken out anyway by my queen. So he doesn't have much of a purpose then besides getting a few defenses. Uh, but the Valks did their job, cleared everything out. Right there the double giant bomb set's triggered by that wizard. And then here comes the giant and a few hogs. Um, obviously the Lava Hound was uh, taken out with the Lava Hound trick with the healer and the two archers. But anyway, uh, dropping down a heal to keep my hogs up, reinforcing on the side there. And the king is doing a lot of tanking right there just by making his way through. I avoided that giant bomb next to the mortar there in that little 2x2. Uh, two two. There was a giant bomb there, but I avoided it with the hog pathing. And then all the hogs converge in this last heal spell. So it wasn't that tough of a base. The Lava Hound does pop, but... Uh, the pups go down, and it, the, the few pups that do survive are no threat to all the hogs I have left. But anyway, um, this kind of crazy had to show this attack because this base, believe it or not, uh, took 9 attacks to 3 star. So, you know, if it was 3 star in the first attempt, we would have had 8 more Town Hall 9 attacks to use in the 10s. But the crazy stuff like this happens. I failed on bases a lot worse than this before. So, um, at, when, once it was, actually was finally 3 starred, um, everybody was just kind of, it wasn't even funny anymore. It was kind of just like, finally the space is done, you know. It was, people were getting pretty uh, heated about it. So, anyway, uh, kind of a funny thing there. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the Town Hall 8 attacks. We have three of them to show today. Uh, just because we usually don't use Town Hall 8s in our, um, in our just daily wars. But in the arranged war sometimes, to, just to match the enemy clan, we have to use some Town Hall 8s. So uh, we did have, I think, 7 or 8 Town Hall 8s. So I'll, I'll show 3 of the attacks. Because um, there weren't a ton of good bases, but there were some pretty good bases here. Obviously, this is an arranged war, so the bases are going to be anti 3 star for the most part. But anyway, we're looking at Lex, uh, Lexotica coming in here. And uh, the lure was a little bit unsuccessful. The Only the balloon came out, not the dragon. So it has to deal with that dragon with the wizards. Um, in the poison spell right there, but um, the dragon is going to get a little bit of damage on the golems before it goes down. So a little bit unfortunate there, but anyway, uh, has wall breakers to let everything into the next layer um, where that double giant bomb possible spot is. I can't remember if this is a cleanup or not. It may or may not be a cleanup attack, but anyway, comes in with the king. Awesome job with the wall breakers. Everything went straight into where uh, he or she wanted it to go. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. Um, but there was no jump. Yeah, there must. This must have been a first attack because the double giant bomb spot was not there. It was actually never revealed, but I believe it's next next to that cannon. Um, but just because the kill squad cleared out that one area, the hogs go north to that air defense, and I believe they just kind of walk around the double giant bomb spot. It's never triggered. Uh, pops the king's ability. He's gonna keep moving forward along with the golems. You know, take out that test like in a lot of value for the kill squad, and then reinforcing with hogs here. And that last heal spell, awesome job there. This base is pretty much done. Drops the last few hogs and then a few wizards for cleanup. 
We'll fast forward as that last cannon goes down because this one is obviously a three star. Awesome attack to Lexotica. Uh, great job with the kill squad and then great deployment of the hogs to avoid those double giant bomb spots. All right. Um, two more. We're taking a look at number 29. Um, Mesoscale Vortex coming in here with a nice hog attack and doing it with um, everyone's favorite, just um, mass 40-something hogs and then just a few wizards for cleanup. So getting the base disabled with hog pathing, which is always fun to watch because it's kind of tricky, very technical, because um, you have to be very mindful of how you deploy your hogs. But comes in here and gets that, uh, that I think that was a double set, um, gets at least one of those bombs triggered, so worked out very nicely there. That one poison didn't get the witch down quite, but he'll drop it in just a moment to take out the witch, and everything will be good there. Uh, so works out nicely. Probably could have dropped a barb, like on the bottom right, to pull those skeletons into the poison, but because um, they do end up, I think, running around after his hogs. Or no, he just takes them out with the wizard, never mind. Uh, but probably could have got them using the poison, but no big deal. They go down to that wizard, and then from here has 28 hogs plus a CC of hogs, and it's just going to work his way around the base. I think that double bomb set... Uh, was by that wizard tower so it's been disabled so he knows there's not really any threat to his hogs as long as he keeps them healed at the right times uh, so comes in with the king here just to do some tanking great value for the king uh, two point defense are going to be on him until they go down drops that next heal for that single bomb this yeah this had to be a cleanup attack but anyway um, you can sometimes tell just because they they know where everything is so yeah, it must have been clean up, but comes in here. Look how many hogs he has left. Just ridiculous. Um, has to be 20 hogs left up. Just kept them healed up the entire attack. Only had one bomb to, to deal with, and that Tesla farm was taken out at the beginning. So all the threats were disabled very easily. Um, awesome attack, and has plenty of cleanup to get the three star. So look at all those hogs. It's insane. Um, we'll move forward to the last one, though. We're looking at number 32. But awesome at attack to MV Mesoscale Vortex. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, number 32. Lexotica again. Um, typically don't show two attacks from the same person. Obviously, XM is the exception because he brings such amazing attacks. But anyway, uh, wanted to show Lexotica's other attack uh, because it was a very nice um, Valk attack, which, you know, isn't, isn't that common at Town Hall 8. It, we, do, we do see it somewhat, but um, it's always fun when we do see it. Obviously no poison spell, just because the CC um, spell is a quake, so has to you know do the old-fashioned CC kill, but it worked out nicely. If it was a witch, sometimes that can throw people off because they're not used to killing a witch. Um, basically, if it's a witch, all you have to do is just pull the witch out, get her separate from all her skeletons and everything else in the CC, then kill the witch separately with like a few archers or a wizard or something. Then from there, you can go ahead and start killing the other troops. But you don't want to, you know, try to take out the skeletons because the, the witch can spawn more. The witch has to be the one going down first. But anyway, it was just a dragon in a balloon, so a nice, easy uh, wizard, barb, archer kill, whatever you want to call it. Standard CC kill before the poison uh, got so OP. Anyway, though, coming in here with the golem, a few wizards, funnels created very nicely, has the quakes to open up that big core of the base, and then in just a moment, going to come in with the valks here. Three of her own, then three from the CC. I'm saying her. It sounds like a feminine name. I don't know why. Lexotica. Probably a guy, but who knows. For some reason, it struck me as being a, a girl name. <laughs> I apologize, though, if it's not to Lexotica, if he or she is watching this video. Uh, but anyway, uh, comes in here. The Valks triggering giant bomb, so all that's good. Those level, th uh, those level four Valks are so OP at Town Hall 8, um, just because they're really a Town Hall 9 troop. That's what they're meant for. But when they come in here at Town Hall 8, they just destroy the core of the base. Still has three or four Valks left up. They took out the double giant bomb spot, took out Teslas. The Hogs didn't even have that much to do, but has the heal spell for the important uh, single bomb, which ended up being right there. So works out nicely. The Hogs are at full health as they take out that last cannon. And then from there, it's just clean up. Has a swag wall breaker that uh, he drops in, and then a few wizards to clear out the rest of the space. Very nice attack, though. That's a three-star. Look at all those troops left out. Valks, Golem, King, Wizards, a ton of hogs. Awesome attack to Lexotica. Keep it up. Fun stuff to see. 
Um, but anyway, that's the war, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one against Team ONT Elite. Awesome job to One Hive Genesis and them. Very fun war, and it did get a little bit closer towards the end, um, especially once number 23 took up, like I said, where is it? 23. Uh, at defense is 1, 1 and 9. So yeah, 9, nine uh, hits on that base. Uh, pretty crazy stuff, so if you want to copy it, go ahead, but it's not the best base. I think it was just some karma and some bad luck working against us, but you're free to try it if you want, um, and let me know how it works out for you guys if you do try it. Anyway, though, um, more videos to come, so stay tuned, and once again, you can follow me on Twitter, because I do tend to tweet about when I'm uploading videos and when I'm not going to upload videos, so that can be helpful. Closing in on 3,000 subs, so should have a nice little celebration in store for you guys coming up once we hit 3,000 subs. But anyway, thanks for the viewership. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectortron out.